Hey, everyone, welcome back to the Structure and Flow podcast. This is episode 95, where we're going to be talking about how to discover your unique productivity style. Woohoo, I said it, I think on take three. Ooh, it took me a little while to yep. get unique productivity style We're putting out. those in the outtakes, straight, <laughs> straight to Facebook with that. Straight to Facebook. Hey, everybody, I'm Dr. Minette Riordan, along with my husband, Brad Dobson, the founders of the Path to Profit Academy. And super excited to be sharing some amazing new content that we created just for you. You bet. Unique productivity styles. We've got a quiz around this. It's uh, a really killer way to dig deep into um, more about who you are and how you work and what your most effective work patterns are and some of the challenges that you have. And today we're going to talk about the commander, one of the four unique productivity styles. But before we do that, you want to share our quote? Definitely. We got to, we're pulling back, you know, from the Path to Profit podcast, some of the fun things that we loved about that podcast. Oh yeah. Got to have the quote. Got to have the quote. I'm thinking Walt Disney might have been a commander himself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we should read up on that. Anyways, the quote from Walt is, the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. And I love this quote. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. And this is the nature of the commander in a nutshell. So if I were to describe the commander to you, I would say that they are absolutely action takers, goal and task oriented. They're good at seeing the big picture. They're great at getting things done. They can be very visionary and they're very, they're so goal oriented. They often forget about people though. Mm. Right? Kind of just bulldoze right through <laughs> them. Kind of just bulldoze right through them. Um, I am a commander. In fact, over this episode and the next episode, bulldoze we're going to be, right through them. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be sharing about the, the, there's four different productivity styles and we're going to be sharing over all of them over the next four episodes. And in the next two, you're going to hear about what Brad and I especially tend to um, be challenged with as well as what our gifts are. Yep. Yep. And there's, I guess the challenges in the, in and of themselves are gifts. Um, they're, they're just ways of, ways of looking at yourself and, and understanding yourself and ways other people can understand you. Um, so what's interesting to me about the commander in this particular productivity style is even though the commander excels at getting things done, they are adrenaline junkies. They tend to be workaholics. They actually work too hard. In fact, I noticed this uh, happened in myself last week where I was working till eight, nine o'clock every night, and I'm not a night owl. My days usually start at yeah, 6 p.m. at the computer. Makes her work partner feel guilty when she takes the whole Sunday to work. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun. He, <laughs> he asked me yesterday, he said, are you could just work all day? And I'm like, I'm just puttering, right? It's, um, it was actually probably the creator part of me that was out yesterday more than the commander part. But what I want to say about the, the commander, if this is your particular productivity style, there's a couple of things to focus on if you're struggling, feeling like you're not getting enough done, first of all, give yourself a break. This is a show about grace and ease as much as it is about getting things done. And what the commander needs to do is to ask for help, which I suck at. I should say that louder. I suck at asking for help. I'm learning. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> the commander should focus on building your dream team. Who can you ask for support? Who do you need to hire first to make sure that you're outsourcing some of the tasks that really you don't need to be doing that pretty much anybody could be doing? And the commander can get really focused on moving forward at such a fast pace that they are like a rocket ship that is going to burn out, right? And they're going to fall back to sea in a not very pretty way. And that could show up for the commander sometimes in health. For me, it certainly showed up in the fact that I'm not getting enough exercise, not always eating right, drinking way too much coffee. Commanders love coffee. I, I think, think you had a lot of coffee this morning. <laughs> I didn't actually. I didn't have that extra cup yet. What do you want to say about the commander? Um, I, th I think it's important to reiterate uh, the the one challenge about taking breaks. Yeah. Um, and and actually giving yourself space to, I don't know, you could say heal, but um, just have that mental space and physical space that's non work time to actually allow other things to happen in your life. Um, otherwise, you're like date night with your spouse <laughs> or Other, quality time with your kids. Yeah, you do have kids. I do. It just turns into um, 
just turns into a, a burn the yeah. whole time, right? It work the whole time. And it's, it's not effective for any of us. It doesn't, it doesn't represent uh, a life of grace and ease. <laughs> yeah. And I think also commanders are, it's important to us to not get only get things done, but to get them done well. And that's even more true for the contemplator who we're going to talk about in the next episode. But you have to learn to, learn to manage your expectations. In fact, Brad and I took this amazing class last year. And um, one of the women that was one of the co-leaders of the class is definitely a commander. And learning to manage expectations and to realize that not everyone is one, willing to work as hard as you are, two, is as smart as you are, or three, willing to work as fast as you are capable of working. Commanders are all about speed. I often like to use the example of Michael Jordan as being a great example of an athlete who is the commander, super driven to win. And I can't remember what the statistics are off the top of my head about how many times he practiced his free throws in order to get as good as he was, right? It's a huge statistic, but it's that driven personality that's very, very typical of the commander. But we have to remember that we're part of a team and that we have to lavish a little love, attention, and patience when it comes to building that team. And I know patience as a commander is not one of my gifts. <laughs> Which brings us to the last, uh, the last productivity uh, type of thing that you can increase as a commander. And that's to understand the productivity styles of the people around you. And it's critical because as a commander, you're by nature in a leadership position and you're not going to be very effective growing your business if you don't know how to lavish praise on those people and how to work with them. For anybody that uh, has taken other personality type assessments and that type of stuff, whether it's Myers-Briggs or, or other ones, you understand uh, a big reason, well, one big reason for having them is so that you understand more about yourself, but companies use these for their, for their teams so that the team members and especially the manager can understand uh, how he's working with or how she is working with the people under them. And that's critical for a commander. Um, rather than just blinders on, working like crazy and expecting everybody to get everything done and not wanting to interact with them, um, it's critical that you um, find out your team members' uh, productivity styles and work with those. And one of the reasons that we created this concept of the unique productivity styles is to help you build an effective team so that you have a team that has players in all four of the different roles. Because as the commander, your tendency is to wear all the hats and you like having control of all the hats. A great example would be maybe you're the owner of a creative agency and you're trying so hard to maintain creative control and have your hand in every piece of design work that comes out of your agency or copywriting that comes out of your agency or photography, whatever the aspect may be, that you're slowing down the process. You're actually in your desire to go fast and your desire to be in, in charge and have your stamp of approval on everything. You're slowing the process down. And when productivity slows down because of you, then profit slows down. And as you guys know, we're passionate about profit in our business and productivity can both increase profit and decrease if, if it's not approached in the right way. So as Brad said, one of the reasons for understanding your unique productivity style is to understand how to play better with others as well as how to understand yourself. And what we know after five years of doing our work with all these different creative entrepreneurs in a variety of different industries is that no two people are the same. This assessment is not intended to be black and white. As you listen to these four episodes, you'll notice yourself perhaps in all four of the unique productivity styles or two of them tend to usually be primary. And what you want to do is take the best of all of them and combine them into a productivity style and methodology that works for you personally. Like Brad and I are both creators, which is one of the styles that you're going to hear about. We have a lot of creator in us for the good, the bad, and the ugly <laughs> of that as well, right? And so just noticing where can you combine productivity styles to make yourself a little bit more effective and um, to get out of your own way? I find so often when it comes to running our business that, you know, the only real problem with your business is you. So I just want to recap um, so everybody is clear about what a commander's uh, main uh, gifts are so that they can either relate to them or say, no, I'm not that. So a commander's gifts are an action taker 
you're goal and task oriented, you're good at seeing the big picture, you're good at getting things done, and you're the visionary. And your challenges are, my maybe I should just say, my challenges are, the commander's challenges, you're an adrenaline junkie, your need for speed can frustrate you, you yourself and others on your team who can't keep up with you. You tend to work long hours and forget to take breaks, which can impact your physical and mental health. So if we could leave you with one powerful takeaway from this, manage your energy as well as your time and take planned breaks. And I, that means take breaks throughout the day, even if it's just two minutes to do a little deep breathing or stand up and do some jump, jumping jacks, but also take long plan breaks. Maybe that's one long weekend a month or a vacation every summer, but one two-week vacation a summer every summer is really not enough recovery time, right? And we'll talk more about recovery time and the importance of that in some of our upcoming episodes as well. So Commander, you're doing great and you're probably doing too much. We told you that this podcast was not going to be about how to get more done. Sometimes it's how to take care of yourself better, which will actually increase your productivity and your creativity. Good stuff. And if you're interested in taking the quiz today, you can jump over to Path to Profit Academy slash UPS quiz, and we'll have that in the show notes. Just a quick quiz, take you two minutes, and uh, you'll get some cool Maybe five results. five or ten minutes. Well, not too many questions anyways. <laughs> yeah, and that was pathtoprofitacademy.com forward slash UPS quiz. And for our next episode, we'll be heading over to talk about the contemplator, Oof, which, ooh, which I is kind of identify as. Yeah, kind of, sort of, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, if you're listening to this in April of 2018, we would also love some iTunes reviews. We have a contest running. You can pick up some cool swag, maybe a planner, maybe a coloring book. We would love to have an honest review over at iTunes. If you can jump to pathtoprofitacademy.com slash contest, you'll see all the details there and uh, just enter easy stuff enter to win. We'd love your reviews. It yep. helps this podcast go. And our Artful Profit, 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 blah, blah, I'm having trouble with my P's today. The Artful Profit Planner printed edition is absolutely gorgeous. And we may have shared before that our son created this along with our beautiful money meditation and mandalas coloring book. And we're giving away actual printed copies, not digital copies of these two gorgeous planners and coloring books. So come on over to pathtoprofitacademy.com forward slash contest for all the rules on how to enter. Cool stuff. We'll see you on the next episode.